watching videos in which someone unboxes a curated beauty set that you also can purchase, what about Korean skincare speed reviews? What if we combine these two concepts in today's video for a two-week trial of the brand new Stylevana Vana Box in the hydrating version? That's exactly the plan for today's video. Stylevana was kind enough to send me my choice of their brand new Vana box, and I chose the hydration one. So I think what we'll do is maybe really quickly talk about what the box is and the other options as well, and then I'll get into reviews of the six items that this box contains. So I've said this before in the past, and it remains true to this day. The reason why I think Stylevana is such a good place to buy curated sets like this from is that they curate their boxes with all of the hyped products, all of the brands that people who love Korean skincare know and love. We're going to be talking about Eccentry, Real Barrier, we've got Make Prim, we've got a Gua Sha in this box that retails for $54.99. And don't forget, you can stack a code with that. I will put my code up on the screen just so you know. I think it is one-time use per account. If any of you have your own influencer code, please feel free to share them in the comments. I've had a lot of people say, hey, I can't get your code to work anymore. So maybe look for another code. I think that's what's going on. But as for this box, I assumed it would be about a 50% off value. That's what it's been in the past. But I did the math on Amazon and I got a total of $150. And again, this video is the hydration box, the version that is made for dry skin. But we do have two other options. We do have the blemish an acne care box, and then a transition box, which I think is actually really smart. That one is for, you know, kind of finding that in between, between the seasons, the, the in between, between the seasons, you all know. Oh yeah, and this is a, a one-time purchase. This isn't any kind of a commitment. It's not a recurring subscription. It's just a one-time purchase. And I'm telling you, you know, people ask me all the time, where should I start if I'm new to Korean skincare? the Vana boxes. Let's do it. Let's do these speed reviews. I'm going to take you through mostly the routine in which I use these because again, everything in this box is a hit for me. So first up, we have the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil. Now here's the thing. I see myself as a, a balm gal. Why did I use the word gal to describe myself? I have no idea. But anyway, I do typically uh, tell myself that I prefer uh, cleansing balms. I think that this was kind of a, a really interesting past two weeks to force myself to use a cleansing oil because I didn't expect to like it. I expected to feel like, oh, I'm going to be excited when this two weeks is over because I prefer a cleansing balm. But somewhere in about one week of usage, I found myself actually really loving this product. And I think I suspect what it is, you know, this is the hydration box. This is a heavier cleansing oil. A lot of cleansing oils feel very light and the lighter they are, the more they run through your hands and you have to work with them quickly. This one is thicker. It has a thicker texture to it, a thicker consistency. It's also unscented. It's overall a very simple ingredients list, but my skin actually loved it and so did I. And I think that's, that's the funny detail for me with cleansing oils. Sometimes my skin has loved them, but I, again have thought I like that thick consistency in a cleansing balm. Lo and behold, it turns out, I think I just like that thick consistency. So whether it's in a balm or a thicker cleansing oil, I may like it. And it did such a good job of removing makeup. I'll have a little video up to show you this. I really couldn't believe how well it removed makeup. But I think, again, that's because in using an oil, it's almost like you're skipping that step with a cleansing balm where you wait for it to kind of melt into your fingers. So it worked into my lash line really well. I mean, it removed heavy eyeshadow. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. It was an absolute hit for me from a product that I didn't have high expectations from. It's always fun when that happens, isn't it? Now do keep in mind, cleansing oil is the first step in double cleansing, so you will want to bring in another cleanser from your own collection, as this box doesn't have a cleanser, but it paired well with every cleanser that I tried it with. So that brings us to our second product, which is the Eason Tree Hyaluronic Acid Water Essence. 
This has an absolutely gorgeous texture that does indeed melt very quickly into your skin. It absorbs very quickly into your skin. You can see it's got a little bit of viscosity to it, but it, again, it absorbs and it does leave your skin feeling quite nice. It's funny, we were just talking about that rather expensive Peter Thomas Roth hyaluronic. Uh, serum. Look at this. This is just moments later and look at that. It's already absorbed into my skin. Now you are going to like this more if you have dry skin because it does leave your skin feeling like you applied an essence, which that's in contrast to the Peter Thomas Roth one. That one, it, it disappears. This one, you still feel that. And again, this is something that depending on your skin type, you're either looking for or avoiding. For me, I'm looking for that. And it is a beautiful ingredients list as well. We have some oat kernel extract, some beta glucan. So it's almost as if this is a product that combines that humectant hyaluronic acid to give you a very hydrating formula, but also has these ingredients that are great for calming your skin. And yes, of course, this is a fragrance-free formula. I am so excited to do my Eason Tree trial. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to do it because it's going to be on the level of the Cosrx. I think that Eason Tree may end up being one of my favorite brands from Korea. I, I see it happening. I see that I'm just over here going, I don't hate anything that I've tried from this brand. Not even I don't hate, I think I love everything. I think I, I think I love this brand. We'll see, we'll see, it's coming soon. It's gonna be a huge one. Next up is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Rose Facial Eye Cream. Hold on, before I give you a review of this, just really quickly, I have to tell you, this is an eye cream that is 1.41 ounces of product. Do you know how long this is going to last? 70% Galactomyces, which they say is used not only for your eye area, but also can be intensive care for your entire face. So Galactomyces, if you follow me on Instagram, the upcoming trial on this channel will be a comparison between SK2 and the Galactomyces ferment from CosRx. That's because Galactomyces is the ingredient that SK2 uses. This has been another hit for me. I love that ingredient. It always helps me with brightening, and I guess uh, to describe it simply, my skin just kind of looks healthier when I'm using Galactomyces products. It also does have 2% rose in it, so that gives it a, a very faint smell, but that's where you're getting the rose from. I mean, look at the packaging too. Love the little rose detailing. What an amazing product. I, again, this is another one I looked up on Amazon it retails for 30 so you can see we've already covered the cost of this box quick note though this product does contain some amount of fragrance but again in my opinion I would say it's quite light we have the Make Perm UV Defense Me Daily Sun Fluid, which is a product that I have actually reviewed in the past on this channel. I do really like it though, even the reformulation. It does now contain uh, not just your mineral filters, but some of the newer generation of chemical filters. If you're still hesitant about trying those, let me just say it, there are three chemical filters in the US that make it so I can't try the vast majority of US sunscreens. I'm okay with some other filters. And yet, so far I haven't run into one of these newer generation filters that doesn't work for me. The reason why Korean and Japanese and European companies are using these new filters is actually because they are less irritating. They're just not yet approved in the US. What I really appreciate about this sunscreen is that it is gigantic. It's 5.07 fluid ounces. It is for face and body. Body, and in general, this is what I use on my body. Now, I know I freaked some people out in the past by saying that I go to the pool while using products like this that aren't necessarily waterproof. You've got to know that I don't swim at the pool. <laughs> I float. I, I, I float on the surface of the water because I was a cat in a past life, so the idea of swimming, especially in cold water, it's not my favorite. Have y'all seen those those videos, I guess they're on TikTok, of people talking about their past life regressions? Tell me why it is that every one of those people was a, a queen or some kind of royalty or famous person in the past. The furthest back that I can remember is being a flatworm. That one is just for my evolutionary biologists. I hope you enjoy. Anyway, it's just so nice to find a sunscreen that comes in such a gigantic bottle. And again, it can be used on your body or your face. There is a little bit more buffing required in either whether you're putting it on your face or your body, but it's a great deal. And so, yeah, we 
both me and Aura use this one at the pool. So kind of going in order of a routine here, let's actually talk about the gua sha next. So this is why I was saying you've got to go with Korean beauty companies if you're interested in products like this. $35 on the Ulta website, or you can get it as part of a box with all of these products for $55. It's also in the other boxes. It's in the, uh, what is it, $35 box? There you go. So the way that I use gua sha is I put a bunch of oil all over my face and I do prefer this shape. There's a few different shapes for gua sha's. I like this one. This ridge right here can really get into the corners of your face and then you can use this portion on your forehead. And you know, like I always say with gua sha's, I do like them, but I think that sometimes I've seen people make just claims that don't make sense with these that aren't what gua sha itself is based in, you know, it's not going to, uh, you know, change the fat structure in your face, but it can help with lymphatic drainage. It can be something that is enjoyable for your routine and, turn, and just, you know, feels stimulating to your skin. I absolutely do believe it can have a place, and I think, you know, it's really a shame that people have made these kind of claims and led to other people thinking that gua sha is useless. It's never been useless, it's just not been what some people were trying to sell it as. But yeah, I do like it, and this is a beautiful, beautiful addition to this box. I really like that they included this in the box. It's something that I think everyone should try. You know, you may not be someone who says, oh, I fell in love with it, I'm gonna do that daily, but at least you get to try it and see what it does. And the final product for this box is the Real Barrier extreme cream. So of course you know with my dry skin I love the texture of this. Again this is another occlusive product. I highly recommend you use a hydrating product underneath this. If you get this box the Eccentry Hyaluronic Acid Essence is going to work very nicely with this. It's actually an incredible combination. But I was actually kind of skeptical about this a lot because it does have some essential oil ingredients. So let's be clear, it's not going to be for everybody, but again, some amount of people are able to use those ingredients. What's kind of strange to me is that the essential oils used in this are kind of not your common essential oils. It's not tea tree oil, it's not lavender oil, it's sage oil, some cardamom oil, which we certainly don't see every day, and then some wild mint oil. Now, I do have to be honest with you that I love the way this feels. I do feel like my skin looks really plump and healthy, but do you see that my skin maybe looks a, a smidge irritated? I've had some kind of tiny breakouts. I'm not actually sure that this is the best option for my acne-prone dry skin. Good in some ways, but just kind of left me going, you know what, now that this trial's done, I think we're gonna move on to a different moisturizer. But that's just my skin. Y'all know by now, I have reactive skin. A lot of people absolutely love this product. <laughs> a lot of people rave about this product. And again, you know, it, it's got, it's just unique ingredients that we have in here. Their own ceramide blend. They have some mistletoe extract in this. You're gonna wanna make sure you assert dominance with this product, always stand over it and never under it. So I've actually talked about this product in the past and I, I've been on the fence and now that I've done this two week trial with it, I do feel like my conclusion is this may be a wonderful product for people that have strictly dry and not reactive skin. But again, you know, I think that when you're using these more unique plant ingredients, it's important to really keep in mind there could be some incredible benefits within those plants. The constituents of that plant itself could do things that we have not even discovered yet. But on the flip side of the coin, it also could potentially be irritating for people with more reactive skin. That, that's just, that's plant ingredients summarized. But to recap the entire box, again, I think it is very worth it. For me, it would have been worth it for these two alone. This is $60, the box is 55. But that's it, my friends. That's my review of the new Hydration Vana Box. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you going to be picking up a Vana Box? And if so, which one? Thank you again to Style Vana for sending this box over. I will have it linked in the description box below if you want to check it out. Thank you all for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy, and I will see you all next time.